just curious. This is Up Close and Personal, a chance for you to explore different types of intimacy. You were very forthcoming in letting us know that physical intimacy attraction maybe is a little bit more important to you sometimes. So it's gonna be up to whatever's happening here for you to determine how you wanna explore what you wanna do. So what are you thinking that you'd like to try first and with whom? I'll spend time with Addy first. Um, we can probably hang out here, get to know each other a little bit more and go yeah. from there. Oh, wait, let's give him some space. I was actually really surprised that Jamal chose to kind of continue along with me, knowing how we had ended things in the past. But for the moment in time, I was really happy. <laughs> totally fair. <laughs> um, I guess, I don't know, would you be open to a massage? Sure, you can speak. Nice. When I met Addy years ago, it was very, very just superficial. Everything was like, oh my God, you're hot. Like, how much do you work out, bro? And I was just like, okay, cool. Like, what's, what's beyond that? What do you ideally look for as a partner? I'm a very outgoing person, but at the same time, I'm, I'm like very introverted. So I need someone that's also outgoing. They're very carefree, very free-spirited, not judgmental. Other than that, it's just about completing me on a personality level. I think for me, ideal state would be someone who's just comfortable being in their own skin. And then, you know, we're kind of mutual partners in a relationship if it gets to that point. Okay. Um, I, I'd say overall, it's just kind of finding someone who I feel like mutually aligned with and have shared values, similar values. And, and you think you're ready for that? I do, I really do. What surprised me the most about Addy, he's a lot more sentimental than he likes to come across. There's a lot more depth to him than what he gives off to the world. Remind me, did you say you were more of an open relationship person or monogamous? Uh, more monogamy. I've only ever really fallen in love with one person. Unfortunately, they passed away a couple of years ago, so I've had some difficulties trying to, uh, you know, kind of reconnect. There's a lot of just sentiment that I'd held on with Jamal in the past, and just seeing him again and just getting to talk and it just being very relaxed, it brought a lot of good memories back. Well, you did ask for something private. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Have fun. Thank Perfect. you. So anyway, tell me more about you and yeah. why are you single? It's not that I'm opposed to like seeing someone more seriously, but I just feel like I haven't met somebody who I guess like is on that wave. Are you ready for that? Mm, I would say so. I think that it can be really beautiful, mm -hmm. but I'm also not like desperate or rushing for that thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people, they want to like satiate like loneliness, which is fine. But for me, I'm like, there's a difference in between being lonely and being ready for a relationship. Well said, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, that's like, that's desperation to have someone. Exactly. You know? My date with Sam was interesting because here I am on this date with this guy that has already proven to have so much substance and I just can't stop sweating. Yeah. And and then if you have that energy and I'm, I've been awful for this too, right? Like you settle for less. You settle for the good looking person that has nothing to say. But a lot of people are not communicating that like, for yeah. example, if you want something casual, say it. A thousand percent. Do you know what I mean? That. There's nothing wrong with that, and I feel like yeah. I feel like our community has kind of shamed people for doing that. Totally. Um, and that's totally. why people are not comfortable saying that they want something casual, right? <laughs> yeah. Something that you can't live without in a partner. I think that I I really do need somebody who's like observant and thoughtful. I think that leads to so many things, like taking accountability when you do something weird. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you have to be able to like have that self-awareness. I hurt this person, I didn't mean to, we talked about it. How do I make sure I don't accidentally do that without thinking in the future? Oh, oh hey, problems. so sorry. I keep interrupting all your conversations. You must be so annoyed with me at this point. I thought you said to call you. <laughs> okay, how was your conversation? Great. It was good, it was good. But I, I did want to ask you if I could kiss you. That's something. You know, I mean, Should I, I leave? To... Should I stay? Should I kiss him? <laughs> this is your life. <laughs> this is your story. Stay if you want. Don't make you as uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, well, I was gonna ask. I'm like, I couldn't actually tell for a little bit if there was a vibe. And so I'm curious. I don't want to do it unnaturally. So for me, it kind of makes most sense to like talk a little bit. And agreed, I wanted it to be authentic. And, but then just asking like that kind of broke the ice and yeah. made it authentic. Sometimes yeah. we're just waiting for a moment to present itself. And then you realize that sometimes they don't. Yeah. yeah. Unless you literally speak your desires. Spontaneity is kind of overrated. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's the key that I think a lot of people are missing. Well, thanks for being brave and exploring together. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, now we are getting close to decision time. 
So I completely forgot. About start that. reflecting <laughs> on your experience, and I'll see you guys back at the up close and personal couch. Okay, welcome back to my couch. You both had some different experiences, intimate in, in different ways. You have a decision to make. In anticipation for that, this is your last opportunity to ask any final question, to get any additional clarity that you need in order to make your decision. Okay, could you see yourself dating me and why? I definitely think that there is something that I'm curious about there, but I also think that it takes time. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would the last guy you dated say about you? I cared way too much. At the time, I was like, very concerned whether or not they, they deeply like cared about me and liked me the way that I did, or I thought I did. I see your gears. Like You always look like you're really thinking <laughs> and pondering. Always deep in thought, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. OK, well, the next time I will see you is at the door, and I will maybe see one of you there as well. So we've had quite a day. We have. And we end here at the door, which means that you've made a decision. I have. Was it a very easy, obvious choice for you to make? Not at all. Mainly because they both had pros and they had both had cons. Well, when you're ready, you can go ahead and unlock that door. OK. <laughs> Come join me over here. OK, so you did choose someone in the end. I did. And you chose Sam. Yes. Tell us why. Um, Sam's desires were just the same as mine, and values were the same as mine. So like desiring an intellectual connection on top of a physical connection. And then in Twinkster, the three words that he had mentioned, um, what were they? I'm pretty sure they were adventurous, empathetic, and considerate or thoughtful. Who doesn't want that? And did you know right away that you would say yes if he chose you? I obviously was like, oh, like this guy's a really cute guy. Shy, but then, <laughs> but, but also for me, it was like I I love that when we were talking, we we're having conversations about things that were meaningful. You were always you were really attentive and present, and that's such a green flag. Yeah, well, I'm really proud of you both for taking a risk and following <laughs> through on this experience. Thank you. Join us for the next episode of Dating Unlock, where we'll meet an all new group of queers ready to unlock love. We'll see you there. The kiss was interesting, mainly because of how ballsy Sam was in that scenario. Kiss was good. He's definitely like into it and present in it, which I really like. I gave Jamal a massage. My massage skills aren't that great. And I was also really <laughs> nervous at the same time. I got ID contact. I hope it can go further. Twinkster was fun. I definitely experienced some interesting smells during that. It's getting hot.